Yo, Pokey26 here with another video showcasing some Void Porn Reliquary Keys and a Valdos Puzzle Box. There's just more and more and more. I don't know if it's just this league in general. Obviously with the prominence of Magic Find and so on. But uh, I believe this is my like 7th and 8th Void Porn Keys and my like 5th Valdos Puzzle Box. They're kind of just, well, everywhere. <laughs> it might also be that there's just a lot of Voidborn keys that are, or both of them that are like lower rarity items, so they appear more common. You know, like pulling gold rooms and stuff, right? Or like last time I pulled face breakers twice. <laughs> so that could be it. Yeah, we're just going to open them up, see what we get, and hope once again that we get something that's actually pretty good. Because <laughs> it would be nice to, uh, you know, not get face breakers for a third time in a row or something. <laughs> so yeah, let's see what it is. Okay. Honestly, a lot of these items have this like nostalgia factor for me. They're all items I used to use in the past as far as unique go. Sintrek is the item this time. And I used to use these with my energy shield cold dot build in the past. Because it had intelligence, it had energy shield, it had 30% move speed. An extra effect of enemies cannot leech. And then you get a bonus of some evasion. So it's like fairly solid. It also fixed your dexterity problems, which the build had some dexterity problems. So yeah, these were boots I've used before in the past. And like I said, nostalgia factor, stuff I used to use. But these days, if you look at the market, it's like, oh, one chaos. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, not exactly a high ticket item, but still cool to get items that I used to use. We had Sintrek here, we had Facebreaker before, we had Belly of the Beast, uh, Gold, a Gold Rim a long time, not in this league, but in a previous league I had Gold Rim. Um, <clears throat> what was the other one? I think there was like one more. But for some reason, I can't remember it. <laughs> Anyways, cool stuff. But we still want that big ticket item instead, if we can find one. So let's look once again and hope we pull something amazing. Worm scale boots. What are they? I feel like I should recognize them because they were highlighted like this. But I honestly don't. Like the, the only boots I can think that come to mind are like the Skyforth or something. But I don't even know what, I don't even remember what's on those boots anymore. I've definitely heard and seen them. Legacy of Fear. Oh, is this a Scorching one? Right. These are, uh, are these from Maven? All right, all right. These are definitely pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure what the state of these are these days. I assume they're still pretty good since they highlighted like this. But there was definitely a lot of desire to have these with Righteous Fire builds. And there might still be. But Righteous Fire is kind of in a different situation now, so I don't know how it works. Uh, the rolls on it look kind of bad, but... <laughs> okay, a bigger ticket item at least. I don't actually know how much they're worth, so to say. But... Yeah. 
cool. So finally a higher tier drop. And definitely a pair of boots that I actually wanted to use before with Righteous Fire, but I never actually got to the point of using it in Hardcore SSF, so... Yeah. I'm pretty sure these are the boots, right? Yeah. Anyways. Now we'll open the Valdos puzzle box. I've had a couple puzzle boxes that are like, okay. Or like one that's decent, one that's okay. And then like two that are pretty bad. So 50-50. And that being said, none of them were like, you know, big rewards. They were just like decent in terms of, hey, I could potentially do that one. <laughs> or, hey, this one's, you know, completely unplayable and as a trash reward. That's this kind of the situation. So hopefully we get one that's like mage blood and it's like, easy mage blood or something because <laughs> that would be cool but you know i think i had a map like this already is it the same one it is it's the baited breath oh no <laughs> why why does this exist this is one of the bad ones as you can see you got Instability, areas fatal, petrification, can only damage next to you. One portal as well. Travel skills, like everything's just horrible. And then it's like, hey, you know what you get? Baited breath. And uh, yeah, that's disappointing. Is this the, the same map, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, this one. Oh, this one's all right, and this one's all right, but the Death Vault Maze and the Dream Sepulcher, Val Pyramid, whatever, is uh, kind of bad. Legacy of Fury, all right. And then Sintrek. Uh... Oh yeah, Aziri Step was the other item I got that I used to use. So we'll place the Sintrek here. Gotta keep the foil ones, even though these ones are actually pretty pretty okayly rolled. But yeah, gotta get the shiny boots. I actually have three shiny boots this league. <laughs> Two of them that I used to use, one of them that I wanted to use with Righteous Fire and just never got to. Yeah. Cool to see. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. I'm not sure if I'll actually do more of these, at least not this league. I think for this league, with how many have been dropping, assuming I continue to get a lot, I might either stock them up and then do a video with a bunch at a time, or maybe I'll just open them up as I go and not do videos at the time for them. Because <laughs> there's a few too many that just keep coming, and it's like, you know, maybe it's getting a little old at this point. So, yeah. I still find it cool to see, though. It's always nice getting some uh, some foil, foil uniques. But, uh, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, we we'll continue to get some decent stuff. The Legacy of Fury ones were actually fairly decent drops.